your brain. Because if I'm 50 years old and I'm still taking it in, you have no excuses. I, you know, I've been not seeing any of you guys in the unemployment line talking about, well, I don't have anything to do. I don't know anything because you have your chance. Like someone came to me, I came to, someone came to my school in elementary school and I ended up picking up a violin and I ended up being really good at what I do at a very young age because I took it seriously because dad wasn't at home, mom needed money, you know, and I was like, oh God, I better, I better do something. So I went into the aerospace industry. But when presidents change and world crises change, then they start laying people off. So I was able to go work on yachts. Then I worked for a telephone company. Then I wired houses. I've done everything that I could in my life and was crippled for three years and got up from being crippled. I mainly got up from being crippled for three years because of you guys. I got tired of looking at black and brown arguments and it just, I figured the root of it all was to go to Mexico City. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I love Mexico. I absolutely love Mexico. The country of Mexico, the people, the love, the heritage, and the love that they have amongst each other. Everyone is not killing everybody. That's a CNN Hollywood crap. Most people decide or they judge Mexico by going to Tijuana, and that's not a great example. That's like going right to the worst part of Los Angeles and saying, this is where LA is. No, Mexico City is beautiful. They don't even want to come here. I, matter of fact, they got more Ferraris over there on the streets than they do here. I, I really enjoy over there. But I enjoy being at home too. But I don't want this. We need to get rid of any kind of problems through the digital divide. By all of us raising our standards in education, we'll eliminate all these past issues with our parents and great-grandparents for the energy that's grown, grown between. You guys all go to Compton High School. You guys have blended very well. It's not too much stuff going on there. And if it is something going over there, let me know. But it's, this here is an operation here that you would not ever be able to come in. So in a lot of ways, this is a back cave because if our enemy found out how we made our backpacks, somebody can sew something in here with it. No, this is a clothes made in America, okay? So, I guess we can go to the other room, but I wanted you guys to see this. Gone in 60 Seconds, Nicolas Cage, they had a movie, um, the latest uh, remake of the movie. They used a car similar to this, stick shift. It was a uh, Mustang, 1967. I wanted to create my own signature version here in Los Angeles and over in Mexico City. This is my definition of the Eleanor GT500, but I named her Christine. <laughs> and it's for a reason. This is uh, Eleanor's bad little sister. This is 500 supercharged. It's an automatic because this gentleman actually want to drive his car. Up under this car, I'll tell you, between those two back wheels is $10,000 in parts. That rear end, it makes me cry every time. It's called a cantilever rear suspension. This car will handle just like an Enzo on the highway, but yet be, you know, easy to drive every day. I tell you what, grab that steering wheel and just turn the wheel. Pretty easy, huh? It doesn't have power steering. Everything under this car is 2010. But yet, even the steering, but yet is the outer hull is an actual 1968 Mustang. This car will go very fast. This car can go through a whole lot of turns, but they just want to go back and forth to work and enjoy it every day. You know what? A guy's wife is building this for her husband. Why can't I find something like that in my life? <laughs> I like the burgundy car right over there. Okay. Because, well, one, it's mostly powered by the touch screen, and two, you have to just, all you have to do is press a button to turn the car on, so it's all electric, and it's, I like how they used old cars, but modern techno technology. When is it my time to live? Yeah, when is it my time to trust again? in my time to heal, yeah, yeah, when is it my time, yeah, I need to know when is it, oh, I can take the good from the bad, or cry about the things I've never had, I realize I hold the power in my hands, so I choose 
to walk down the path of death. 